Well, good afternoon, everybody. How is everyone today? It's a big whopping 28 degrees here. They're calling for a snowstorm coming in tomorrow. Could get up to six to 12 inches, I guess. All right, I thought today we'd make some cherry pie bars. And I'm gonna use a, a sheet pan to make it in. And so you wanna get your sheet pan ready and I spray this with some Pam bacon spray, okay? Preheat your oven to 350 degrees. This is a very quick, easy, simple recipe. All right, first thing we're gonna do is cream our butter and our sugar. You're gonna need two sticks of butter, one cup, and two cups of white sugar. Okay, so you wanna get that all creamed in. And then you wanna get out your vanilla extract and your almond extract. You wanna get out four eggs and let them sit so they come at room temperature. And you're gonna need three fourths teaspoon of kosher salt, three cups of all purpose flour, and a can of cherry pie filling, a 21 ounce can, okay? And then after it's all made and everything, we're gonna make up a little glaze with just one cup of uh, confectionery powdered sugar and two to three tablespoons of milk, depending on how thick you like it, okay? That's not until after. All right, so let's get this creamed up good. We're gonna end up using one teaspoon of the vanilla extract and one teaspoon of the almond extract. All right, after we cream up the butter and the sugar good, then we're going to add our four eggs, and then we'll add the extracts, and the salt, and then the flour. And then when that's all mixed up good, the flour and everything, then we're going to take three-fourths of this batter and put it on the sheet pan, and then we're going to dump the pan of cherry pie filling on it, and then we're going to take a spoon and just take the batter that's left and then just throw it on top in different areas on top of the pie filling. Okay, now we're going to bake it for like 25, 30 minutes. And then when we take it out of the oven, it cools and we can drizzle some glaze over it. Alright. Just turn it up a little bit more. tonight for dinner. I love it when my husband cooks. He's going to make his uh, famous hot dog meat sauce. I want to see if I can't have him do it on the video so you all can see how he does it. And we've made over the years, oh my god, so many different kinds of hot dog meat sauce. Even the clones to like uh, hot dog Johns and Zach's and 
We've done it even with the sirloin meat, all kinds of ways. But my kids go really nuts over his hot dog meat sauce. And I'm just going to throw a simple, quick uh, mac and cheese to go with that. Uh, I like to usually use a few different cheeses. I've done a couple videos already on YouTube. One was with bacon and different cheeses, and then I've used it with the, the, the grayer and the gouda and the cream cheese and stuff. Okay, now let's add in three-fourths teaspoon of salt. And then, on low speed, you can start adding your flour. really smell that almond extract. It's really good in cookies too. I just made some yesterday some pistachio cookies with vanilla and almond extract. Okay, get off what you can on the paddle. My kids are slowly uh, getting me a uh, better setup. At least now I got a faster and a better internet, so I can download much faster. And now they're trying to figure out another good setup for me to make it nicer. That's why I haven't been going live very much because I always like to show you the outcome and right now, I just stop it and then I start it again when it's baked or whatever, unless I'm doing duplicates and it's already done ahead of time. And then I just kind of like splice them, put them together so it's all onto one. All right, so that's what the batter looks like. All right, now you want to take about three fourths of it, okay? And just put it right on your sheet pan. All right, let's just spread this out. Takes a minute to spread it. But it's a, a quick dessert. It bakes in no time and, and it is delicious. And it's easy because you just cut it up in little squares when it's cool and then to whatever size you'd like. Small or good size. Just something different than having just a, like a cherry pie, you know. Okay, just got to keep working it. It's getting there. Whatever works the best for you is how I would do it. The 
just want to make sure that you don't leave no holes in it, okay? And just keep working it. And keep smoothing it. It's getting there. See, I almost think it's not gonna go, but it, it will, okay? I always say the best tools are your hands and fingers. Okay, let's see what we can bring over this way. It's a pretty big pan, but like I said, it'll go. And if you really think you need to take a little bit more out, well then, you have to take it out. It's just less batter you have to put on the top, you know. Just be patient and just work it. See how I'm bringing it all over? So once I actually start going live eventually that'll make it so much nicer because then I can actually really talk to you and see if you have any comments you know um, and if there's anything that you'd like me to make or if you have questions on something and I can answer it you know whatever I can do to try to help you Wintertime is more like my just, like the fun baking and cooking because come canon season, especially for the fruits and vegetables, I am so extremely busy. But I, I do plan on uh, showing you everything and it's really easy. Okay, now see how that's all spread out? All right, now take your cherry pie filling and then just put it all over it. Just like that. Just spread that out best you can get it. Make sure every little bit gets some. Just like that. Nice and easy. Okay. Now you're going to take the rest of your batter and you're just going to pop it right on top of the cherry pie filling. Okay. All right. Here we go. Just pop it right on there. Just like that. don't have to be fussy in the sizes. I think this makes it more rustic, you know? I certainly wouldn't like everything always the, the exact same. almost done. 
I spread the bottom out so good. It probably could actually put a little bit more on the bottom. That's all right. Let's put it all over, just like that. And then we're gonna put it in the 350 degree oven for like 25, 30 minutes, okay? And these are cherry pie bars done in a sheet pan. All right, so I will stop this. And then when it's done, I'll show you the outcome, okay? All right, I shall return. Okay, everyone, the cherry pipe bars are done. And let them sit out good to cool down. And that's what it looks like. Okay, and now I took one cup of confectionery powdered sugar to make the glaze with and two to three tablespoons of milk, whatever consistency you like. And I think that's a pretty good one. Okay, that's all you do to make the glaze. And then just drizzle it all over it, however you like it. Just like that. A little swirly. And that's that. Okay, that's what it looks like. 